to present our next award, please welcome the lovely Mylene Class. Good evening. I have to say, it is such a privilege to share a room with so many strong, in the words of Paul, stoic and inspirational people. So here we go. I'm here to give the Attitude Ally Award. Now, the Attitude Ally Award is given to a non-gay person who has gone above and beyond in their support for LGBT people. The winner is a sportsman who, like many sportsmen who have appeared on Attitude's cover, realized he had a big gay following. Quite a few big gays following, I imagine. A former England and international rugby union player, he engaged with his fans the issues of homophobia in sport, and in particular, the bullying of LGBT kids, which, which goes on in every school up and down the land every day, including today, and leads to higher rates in gay kids of self-harm, depression, addictions, eating disorders, and sometimes even suicide. Now, he wanted to do something about it. He speaks out against homophobia at events, and in 2011, he launched his Stand Up Foundation to fight the bullying of children and to encourage support and compassion to all people, whoever they may be. Now, for sure. Now, he's currently hot-footing it around the Strictly stage, but he is here tonight, and I can now proudly say the Attitude Ally Award 2013, supported by the cooperative, goes to none other than Ben Cohen. Oh, wow. Um, I'm actually uh, sort of uh, stumped for words, but uh, I'm glad that picture's got down now. Um, Wow, um, thank you Attitude for, for this award and um, I've got to say that I'm a little bit overwhelmed because uh, when I retired, I retired for a cause to set up the Stand Up Foundation because of what happened to my father for many years ago and, uh, and then coming across a fan page on Facebook which had 37,000 people on in honour of myself which I did, was, didn't know anything about but uh, then later found out that it was uh, these 37,000 people were all men uh, which was... Uh, which was a surprise to me. But actually, it, we, we shared something. We suffered at the hands of other people. And the stories that I had heard about these 37,000 uh, men on this, this, this fan page was that they got bullied because they perceived to be different. And because I was a sportsman, a world champion sportsman, that I could do and make a difference to people's lives and be a role model and bridge that gap between the gay and straight community. And in 2010, um, I had the idea of actually turning down a three-year contract to, to carry on playing, to set up the foundation and help and support and collaborate with organisations who really do real-world work on the ground. And um, with partners like Nike, we sell Nike stuff, like, probably a bad example, like Livestrong, but um, for equality. But um, we raise a huge amount of money to help these organisations to eradicate hate, to educate what bullying does long-term and, uh, and ultimately say, edu educate these next generation, drive a cultural change. We want to eradicate that homophobia and transphobia, that casual um, uh, gay uh, slurs in the playground and really sort of get these teachers to really stand up and say, look, actually, casual homophobia is wrong. So it's all about educating the next generation. So thank you very much for this award. It's fantastic. It's a great honour. And... Um, since I've retired to set, to set up the foundation, I've had an amazing time, an amazing journey, and help change people's lives. So thank you for your support, and uh, I'll try and do my best on Strictly. Thank you very much. You. I've never seen a room full of gay men so quiet as they just were. But I bet none of you can remember what he said, can you? Because you were just gazing into his eyes. It's a good job this is here, actually, because it means you can't see that while he was talking, I actually came. So was it really a privilege for you to present?
It's a huge one. privilege. I think that when you look at who is um, present in the room today, I mean, it's just absolutely breathtaking because you, cause, you know you realise how, as Paul said, how stoic, stoic, how strong, how inspirational the people in this room are and have had to be in order to get to this place. And I just feel very, very proud to be a part of the evening and to be able to then give an award to somebody who gives a voice when others don't have it. I think that's a remarkable thing to do because often you can then you know get to where you want to go to and then just carry on sort of like pedalling your own canoe. But th this is not what this gentleman does, Ben. He speaks up for those who just can't. So, Ben, that, that's going to make me nearly well up listening to that because that's just so from the heart and so true. And how are you feeling about tonight? Actually, do you know what? It's... Um when I, when I started the foundation, I never really expected to get any awards and it was never really about that. But um, the difference we've made and, and really highlighting what Bullion does is uh, it's been made a huge difference, whether it be stateside or whether it be in the UK. So uh, it's nice to get on, it's nice to get recognised for the work you do because we put a lot of tireless hours into it. We give away a huge amount of money and help support these organisations who really don't get the recognition they deserve on the front line because they really do the real world work. So. Um, a lovely word and it's a fantastic intro and um, yeah it's been an amazing journey for me since I've retired being a, being a rugby player. And so kind of extreme as well going from rugby to a lot of kind of showbiz and, and watching you on Strictly has just been brilliant so I mean how are you coping? How am I coping being on Strictly? Um, I'm like a rabbit in headlights I've got to say. And You're doing all right I think. We well can actually do you know what it's been I've only been dancing for three and a half weeks and um, I feel like the honey monster. I feel like a monkey on a trike. And um, I'm trying to let go as much as I can. But Christina has been amazing. And um, just trying to let go, you know, is difficult. Do you know what? I start the dance all right. You know, it's halfway through. I think, oh, my good God, where am I? And I look up and I see the judges and think, oh, sugar. You know, well, I've got to finish the dance now. But, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't earn anything out of the foundation. I give it I go out of the strict. I give it away. I, I, I went on it for purely the fact of... Uh, of, uh, of raising awareness to the foundation, actually putting myself out there to be criticised, you know, and saying, look, you know, I can deal with it and make a difference with it, you know, and uh, it is hard, it is difficult, it's really a challenge, but uh, I'm trying to embrace it the best I can. Well, well done, you're doing amazing, and congratulations for tonight. No, no, thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, Mike.